Listen, I don't have any bubble gum. Can't you tell I'm working? Hi, I hope you're doing well. My name is Michael, and I wanted to take a chance to tell you about this channel. So if you've watched a couple of the videos in the in this channel so far, you probably get an idea that the channel is a lot about Arduino. And it is. Really, my target audience are electronic hobbyists who are interested in learning about Arduino. Now, that being said, if you don't have any electronics experience, I really try to teach all of the videos in a style that uh, really allows you not to have too much electronics experience at all. So I think you'll still find a lot of value in it if you don't have any electronics experience. So the plan is every Tuesday I'll release a new video. And then on every fourth Tuesday, every fourth video that is, I'll release a video kind of like this one. Um, where it's just me talking about stuff. So, you know, you may or may not be too interested in the stuff I talk about. But the reason I do that is because the videos that I do produce, you know, the tutorials and, and those type of things, they take a lot of time uh, to produce. And so a video like this gives me uh, a little more time, gives me a break from the video production. And I think it'll still add some uh, value. So I'm calling these videos intermission videos because I couldn't think of anything else. So a little bit about myself. I am an electronic hobbyists. I've been messing around with electronics for about a decade and I've been messing around with Arduino a big part of that. I don't have any formal training in electronics so I might be you know a lot like you um, you know you're just interested in electronics and you've taken all the spare time that you can afford between you know family and work and your crack cocaine addiction. So the perspective that you'll get from me is somebody who might be a lot like yourself. They've tried really hard to kind of learn the ins and outs of electronics in the spare time that they can find but with uh, between family and work and all that type of thing. Um, now I do have some uh, f more formal experience in programming but not too much. I took a C++ course in college and I worked with MATLAB uh, on some research when I was uh, in college. Well like I said this channel is going to be dedicated to Arduino but you know there's so many different applications for Arduino that I can I have a ton of latitude to do stuff. So uh, obviously I'm interested in teaching. So one of the things I will do are Arduino tutorials. So I don't, I'm not going to do a lot of like, hey, cut and paste this code and, and make this project. I really want you to understand uh, the code and, and the electronic stuff. So that's kind of what I'm about uh, with as far as the tutorials go. I'm also interested in citizen science. I'm just interested in science. So I'm thinking about making some videos that show how to use Arduino to enable some of your own science. Um, so hopefully you'll see some of those videos. Also, kind of as an aside, what I do for a living is I teach an online Arduino course to electronic hobbyists who are looking for a structured curriculum uh, to learn about uh, Arduino. Now, the course, uh, really the courses can be for non-electronic hobbyists because it, it starts without any of that knowledge required. But I find that most of the students who join the course are electronic hobbyists. Anyway, the reason I'm going there is because students in the course, they they're, they make projects all the time and they submit those projects to me and so I'll probably feature some of those projects in here. So an example, uh, this is a, a project I got from uh, James Grieve. He is an electronic hobbyist, took the course and uh, still in the course doing cool stuff and he makes laser tag accessories uh, using Arduino. Um, so he, I believe he uses the AT Tiny quite a bit. Anyway, uh, so he's made a bunch, of, a bunch of cool laser tag accessories like grenades, landmines, and very aggressive laser tag stuff. I, James is just, no, he actually does it for friends. Uh, anyway, so he does a lot of cool stuff, and this is just an example of some of the projects I'm talking about. All right, uh, the other thing that I'll probably talk about in these videos are just projects that I'm working on personally. So one of the things I'm working on right now uh, is I want to make a little wheeled robot that can draw pictures. And uh, specifically, I think it'd be pretty cool if I could get the robot to draw like a, a sketch of somebody. Now I do this, the only time I work on this robot is when I'm playing with my kids. So my progress is very slow. Um, and in fact, I let my, I'll let my daughter like type in the Arduino ID when I'm working. So it's like, all right, find the letter F find the letter O, find the letter R kind of thing. But uh, anyway, it's it's slowly moving along. I've been working on this for like a year and I've gotten nowhere. So I really have no idea how I'm going to uh, implement what I want to do, but uh, it's fun. So, all right, well, hey, that is the first intermission video. In the next video, we'll be talking more about Arduino Shield, specifically some things you should think about when you're building an Arduino Shield from a kit. All right, hey, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>